I gave Razer a full four piece of Blizzard Strayer. What's up boys today we're actually going to be taking a look at another team idea that i kind of <laughs> all right it's for the memes all right i did it just because i can and i just wanted to see how it works obviously i don't suggest you go out there and you put freaking blizzard strayer on your razor it's not like it actually does a, a ton of work it just i i just want to see if it would all right so let's go over why this team works the way that it does and kind of go over like what its main objective is so the way that this team is set up is we actually have razor kaya Sinkcho, and diona now for what it's worth i will say that you could replace diona with ganyu um, I, I had to make a choice if I wanted better cryo application, Ganyu would make a lot more sense, but Diona being so defensive with her shields and her heals made this team a little bit more consistent because of the way that Razor is so selfish when he's in his burst. If you switch off of his burst, you lose it. Um, I, I needed something that would provide more healing um, during the burst, and I I guess I could have built Sinkcho a little bit more of a healer, but I actually like Diona in this situation, and I don't have Chi-Chi. I don't know how Chi-Chi would work in this. I, I really did want to try out Chi-Chi for this, but still don't have her. So anyways, the reason that this team is set up the way that it is is because I gave Razor a full four piece of Blizzard Strayer. Now, I know that sounds really dumb, and it kind of is, and I just wanted to see what it would be like if I did it. Um, I actually did try to give him a Cryo Goblet as well, but I did end up sticking with the Physical Goblet simply because the only way that I could make the Cryo Goblet work was to pair him with Chong Yun, and if I paired him with Chong Yun, it would have ended up messing up a lot of the the reactions that I was going for with this team. Originally, this team was supposed to be a Razor Superconduct team um, so that you can kind of utilize his burst to continuously superconduct and just lower defenses while you're bursting. But that kind of got boring <laughs> just because I was like, ah, oh, well, people have already done that before. Let me do something different. So I wanted to do this. And then I tried, tried it out with Chong Yun, and my problem with that was that I was shattering. I wasn't outputting a ton of damage simply because Razor gets um, he gets physical damage whenever he ascends, and it just it it just didn't really feel it felt way more clunky than it needed to. So I did end up going back to the physical goblet, and I think it actually works out pretty well because there's a couple of different things that you can do during your downtime of your main focus of the team to keep physical damage still pretty relevant. So the whole idea here is that we're actually going to start our burst chain with uh, Sing Show here. He's going to hit his, uh, his elemental burst, which the reason he is first is because it is a 15 second duration, which is actually the longest out of everyone. So 12 seconds there. Unfortunately, Kaya here with a, a sloppy eight. Now, if you do actually have uh, C2, you could actually get up to 15 seconds. I don't know necessarily that uh, I would, you know, go all in on Kaya just for that, but you know, it's, it's a possibility. So anyways, uh, Sing Show is actually going to start with our burst chain, and then we're going to either go into Diona or Kaya. Uh, you do kind of have to pick one or the other. K Diona seems to apply cryo a lot less often. Kaya is a lot more damage focused. Uh, I don't even have a good 
set of artifacts on him. Uh, Kai is a lot more damage focused with his burst, and I think that's probably the biggest like burst of damage that you could do is to go Sing Sho, Kaya, and then Razor. And then once you hit Razor's ult, you literally just start tearing through everything. So the main idea here is that Sing Sho and Kaya or Diona, whichever one you end up going with, are going to apply Hydro and Cryo to the enemy, which is in turn going to freeze them. Razor is then going to actually hit them for a massive amount of crit damage. He will end up shattering them if they're frozen, which is fine, which is kind of why Elemental Mastery is not terrible on Razor here. And then because they're shattered, if you're in your burst, they're still probably going to be either affected by Hydro or Cryo. So you'll either get a Superconduct or you'll get Electrocharged. Either one is still perfectly fine. And then Sing Show is going to continuously keep applying Hydro. So even if you're down in between your frozen state, you're still going to have elemental reactions going off. And then as soon as they freeze again, you're probably going to shatter or you can hit with electro damage and end up hitting superconduct, which lowers their physical feet, which is just gonna, it, it all actually congeals pretty well. And I'm actually pretty happy with this team. So really quickly, let's take a look at each character and kind of show you how they are set up. So here we have Razor here. He does actually have a Skyward Pride. Now you could go with pretty much anything. The, the only reason I'm doing this is because it increases all damage by 8%, uh, but you could definitely go with something like the Debate Club if you um, are being you know strictly free to play, something like that. Uh, Skyrider Greatsword, probably going to outpace Debate Club just a little bit because of the physical damage, but uh, e either one is perfectly fine. Uh, prototype Aminus would also be really good if I could get a freaking Prototype. Prototype Archaic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like we said, we do have the full four piece of the Blizzard Strayer. Now, everything on here is kind of set up for crit damage because it was the Ganyu set that I run. Uh, so everything will have crit damage somewhere in it, hopefully. Nope, this one has crit rate. Uh, I need a new timepiece, please. Uh, then we have, of course, our physical goblet and crit damage on the circlet there. Here we can kind of see 77 on elemental mastery, which is decent. Like I said, the shattered damage or the electro charged or the superconductor, whatever you end up hitting with Razor, because he is the, the hyper carry here, because he is so selfish during his burst, he's probably the one that ends up needing most of the elemental mastery. Sing Show could probably stand to use some as well. Kaya and Diona don't really need too much uh, just because they're not the main ones that are going to be proccing any kind of reactions. Of course, since we do want crit damage in this build, that's kind of why we are so heavily weighted there. Uh, energy recharge just mainly comes from uh, Skyward Pride. And then of course we do have the 15 cryo just because of the two piece of the Blizzard Strayer, but we mainly want to pour all of our damage into physical. Kaya here is actually set up with Favonius Sword because of energy recharge. Because these guys are off field support, I wanted to fill them with as much energy recharge as possible so that they could get off their burst as often as possible because Razor is actually really good at getting his burst back um, with the sigils and being able to press E and then hold E to just generate a lot of energy. It actually works really, really well. So he doesn't need a ton of energy recharge. Scoured Pride is kind of overkill in my opinion for it, but it works out really nice because I hardly ever have to actually wait for my my burst for his artifacts he probably should have uh, another set of uh it needs to be something like this uh this would actually make a lot more sense in my opinion uh two piece noblest two piece blizzard strayer so that that way you get extra damage in your burst and you get extra cryo damage which your burst is going to utilize plus a cryo goblet of course and then after that you can kind of play around with substats and figure out what you really like there. So all in all, this is closer to what you should be expecting. Uh, crit rate doesn't really matter that much because he also is going to get a benefit from the uh, resonance, but he doesn't get the full four piece Blizzard Strayer set. So crit rate would definitely be a little bit better if it was higher here. Uh, definitely doesn't need that much crit damage compared, uh, but as much energy recharge as you can put into him and as much cryo damage as you can put into him is your main focus. Sing Show, pretty much gonna be the run of the mill stuff here. We do have Sacrificial Sword just because of the uh, secondary effect and the massive amount of energy recharge it has. Uh, Heart of Depth set and Two Piece Noblest for the extra hydro damage and the extra burst damage. Uh, that's probably gonna be the best setup for him if you can make it happen. Here we can kind of see what we're rocking with here. He does actually have a little bit of elemental mastery in him as well. Crit rate, crit damage. Uh, the crit rate is okay because they, a lot of the stuff we're gonna be hitting is affected by cryo. So this does get the extra 15%. So it is more like 45 and 70 percent uh that's that's okay energy recharge of course i try to shoot for at least 180 but it would be a little bit better if it was a little bit higher than that uh and then hydro damage of course as high as you can get it on him because that's mainly what he's there for and 
And lastly, Deanna. Uh, she does have a Favonius Warbow because of the energy recharge and her artifacts are, she's literally set up as a healer for me. Um, she just has HP all across the board. She doesn't really do much other than heal. So HP percent there, HP percent and healing bonus. And then her flower is pretty much powered up. Her feather is not even touched. But uh, yeah, she's pretty much set up as a healer. And we can kind of see uh, she does have the healing bonus up to 44.8%, which is nice. Her energy recharge could be a little bit better, but it's not too big of a deal. And yeah, that's pretty much the main shtick of the team, guys. It is very, very fun. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much fun this team was to run. I, I ran a, a couple of things in the Abyss. I don't ever actually play around in Abyss. I, I've never really taken it super serious, but I don't even have floor 12 unlocked, so I can't really even test this out there. Uh, but because 9, 10, and 11 are mainly cryo-focused, it's really hard to test this kind of team out there. So I did test out some stuff in floor eight just because it was kind of fun and uh, yeah. So I'll leave you guys with a couple of more like showcasing clips and let you guys, you know, jam out to some good music. But I, I really do highly encourage you to take a look at this team. Um, actually, I don't. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be putting Blizzard Strayer on Razor normally. This was just kind of for fun, but I enjoyed it. It was actually really stupid. It was really cool. So anyways, see you guys. You're Major shout out to Cherry Blue, who is a YouTube member.